Hey, how's it going? Yar. Okay, this is Blue, and as you know, we've already done some stuff here for moving stuff, rotating stuff, scaling stuff, and making this project. So now I'm going to teach you a few more useful things, okay? So first of all, let's imagine, okay, that we don't really want the things that are in this set. So I'm going to select things, and then I'm just going to hit delete. 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 And see where it says third person? I'm going to delete that. And this spinning question mark, that can go to. OK, so I have deleted all these things in the level. Now, don't worry about these weird black shadows. We'll talk about those soon, maybe in the next lesson. But for the minute, OK, let's just focus on the fact that we've removed these things. Now, remember, if you want to bring them back again, you can always do a Control Z. See? Or you can redo it with Control Y. See? Now, if I go to play, remember the keys from before, W A S D, you'll see that the stuff's not there anymore. Yeah? Now, we're only playing this in the viewport, but you get the general idea. Okay. Now, what about if you want to add some things to it? Well, that's easy enough too. Now, see here where it says Content Browser. If you don't have that, just go to Window here. Okay, and we want Content Browser. Content Browser 1, because we only need one of them at the minute. And if we go to Content, you'll see we've got these folders because we made a we made the starter content for us. And then if I go into Starter Content and maybe Props, you'll see there's all these things here. And what I can do, if I want them to appear in my scene, is just click and hold down the mouse button and then just drag it into my scene. And then remember, we can rotate them or we can scale them or we can do anything else that we want. And you see there's a door frame and what else? Maybe this rock. Okay, so we've got three things in it. And then if I go back to here and press architecture, we also have this wall. And all I'm doing is dragging it to the floor and we have this door, okay? And I'll just rotate my door. Now, as well as being able to drag things to create them on our game level, what we can also do is, if we just go to the Move tool and press Alt and just drag it like this, okay? You'll see I create a copy of it. And this is really useful for us if we want to start creating things like rooms or corridors or anything else because all we need to do is just move our pieces around and remember we have this handy thing here with the snap if we need it so all i'm going to do is just shift and drag the not shift sorry i mean alt and drag this down okay just to make a quick copy of it and i'll just adjust it so that it's in a good place as far as i can manage and then i'm going to get these two here and I'm going to hold Alt and drag those. There we go. And then inside here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a copy of the staircase. OK, so now if we press play, as you can see, we have more things going on now in our level, including a big rock. We can also probably run through this. Oh, no, we can't. There we go. OK, so that's shown you how to delete things and also how to add things to your level. So in the next part, let's talk about this weird shadow here. OK. I hope you found that interesting. And do remember, if you have any questions, to just come over to the website and just ask. Or you can go on our Facebook page. Or, of course, you can send an email through the website. Well, see you for now.